Let's make this calendar a bit more pleasing to the eye. For starters, let's prevent access into the fields because it's just confusing. So go into layout mode, select these, go over to our inspector, come down to the data section, field entry, and uncheck browse mode. We're probably not doing finds either, so let's take that off as well. And while we're here, what we want to do is allow highlighting of the current month. I want 1 to be in white, but 29 and 30 to be in gray, and 1, 2 through 9 to be in gray as well. So we're going to start by coming over here and changing this field so it has no fill color. There we go. Then we'll come into conditional formatting. All three of them at once. This is great about conditional. You can do them all at once because we're going to do a formula based on the self function. So we'll say formula is, and you see it puts in the self already for you. We're going to type in self, and we're going to say greater than or equal to first day. And self less than or equal to last day. Remember that last day formula we did as well, or custom function. And that should do it. You should see that right away in browse mode here with the conditional formatting. And we forgot to put in, the reason we'll see is I forgot to do the last step, which is tell it to fill with a color. So we'll put in white there and that should do it. See how in the sample data is great because you don't have to go back into browse mode to see it. Now we can come in here and add in another formula. We'll do the self again. We'll say self equals, I got a little carried away here, get current date. Click OK. Tell that to change the text color to a nice blue. That looks good to me. Maybe even make it bold. And you'll see that the 31 here is now blue and bold, so it stands out as the current day. Now, when we go back to browse mode and take a look at it, you notice that we have these lines here. And I'm going to really not want these lines, and I don't want these curvatures on the borders here. So we're going to come in here, select those, go to Appearance, scroll down to here, and change these. So we're going to go ahead and change the first one to not have any borders down here, the last one to not have any up here, and the ones in between only to have the ones on the sides. I think that should do it. Let's see what happened. That looks pretty good. We still have this, if you can see it, a little bit of an indent here, and we can take care of that. What we'll do is come in here to this first one and say, okay, we don't want any rounded edges down there. We don't want any up here. And I believe that should do it. We should be good. Let's see what we have now. And it looks like we're going to have to do it to the ones in between as well. So come over here, take them off on all edges so there's no beveling on the edges there. And now it's starting to look like it's one piece, not individual fields, which is what I'm really shooting for here. Now we need a header and the month and the year up here. So the header is pretty easy. We're just going to put text in here. So we'll type in Sunday or SU because that's about all that will fit there. I'm going to justify it to the same position as there. And you can line it up just about there. And I'll underline it and make it about the same size. That's good. So once you get one of these done right, you'll be able to duplicate it and change it for the other ones. But notice how it's not even with it. That's because this one has padding on it of 6 on the right. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Now they should be perfectly lined up. Looks good. I'll duplicate this with the keyboard command. And it's not going to line up with that because it's a repeating field, but I can eyeball it pretty good. And I can see that I think I've got it there. And if I do a smart duplicate now, they should be all in the same spot. And they're a little bit off. So this has to go one pixel over, two, three, four, five, six, seven. OK, I think I've got them all there. We'll put in M for Monday, TU for Tuesday, W for Wednesday, TH for Thursday, a simple F for Friday, and SA for Saturday. So that looks pretty good. To get in the date here, the month and the, and the year, just to make sure people know what they're looking at, we're going to insert our date symbol. And we don't want to display that way. We're going to come and customize it again. 
just to show the month and the year. So we'll take the day off, take the, or sorry, take the, the day of the week off and also the day. Take off this formatting here. And I believe we need, what we got here, we got a space. There's none there, so we'll take that out. I'll put a comma between them. I think I'll just put a space here. That should be good. And I can put the space here or there. It doesn't really matter. It's going to show no matter what. But just so it makes more sense, I'll put the space here. And you can see right now we have May 2018. I'll go ahead and center that. Put it to that edge. Put it to that edge. So it's nice and even on the top. Maybe make it a little bit different. How about we bold it? That looks pretty good. Let's go to browse mode. And now we have a pretty good looking calendar that will go ahead and display for anybody so they can reference it and see that information.